up golden thumb welcome and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show y'all how to make a designer ashtray louis vuitton inspired okay so first we're going to get started with the ashtray first okay so we have the heart mold is which i want to do because i'm making this ashtray for my living room so we're going to use this heart mold and the colors I'm using is purple glitter, silver glitter, and black. And the resin I'm using is this Dr. Crafty resin and the hardener Dr. Crafty. Okay guys, so first what I am going to do is use these two cups for my resin and my hardener because you have to have the equal amount of each so I'm going to use these cups to measure Make sure you guys use gloves. That's a must because resin and is bad for you. Gloves and a mask. I learned the hard way. Well, actually nothing didn't happen to me, but someone on my video told me. My other video of me doing ashtrays. I'll have that link in the description below, but I wasn't using gloves, but I mean, nothing happened. Not that I know of, but I was fine. Okay, you're gonna mix the resin and the hardener together. You have to mix slow, so it don't create any bubbles, because when you mix fast, it creates a whole lot of bubbles in there, and it just looks all bad. If you have a torch or a blow dryer or a heat gun, that will work perfectly. Fine for resin. Okay guys, so now that I'm done mixing, I am going to pour some in here. Because I want I want to be extra. So I want one side to be purple glitter, one side to be you know silver glitter. So we're gonna see how this turn out. So I'm gonna mix this purple glitter in here. All right, so I'm gonna do a layer, y'all. I'm gonna do, this is gonna be purple glitter at the bottom. Well, this that will be the top of the ashtray. So it's gonna be purple glitter at the top of the ashtray. And then I'm gonna wait for this to dry. Then I'm gonna put the silver glitter on top of this purple glitter. And then for the top of the, well, the bottom of the ashtray, it's gonna be black. But then on the inside, I'm going to have Hmm, I'll say silver. I'm gonna do a silver Louis Vuitton decal in the middle. So yeah.
Okay, the next color is gonna be silver, but I have to let this dry first. So, once this dry, I will be back to do the silver. Okay, we'll be back. Okay guys, so this is dry, came out like that. So now we're going to add the silver layer. And now we're going to add it to the layer. Okay, and after this part dry, we're going to add the black, but we got to let it dry. So this part is cutting the Louis Vuitton out. I'm using my Cricut Explorer. I should have done it silver, but I guess this is cool. Okay guys, now I am going to add the black. So I'm just gonna pour this in until it fills up. need a little bit more okay so we're just going to add a couple drops of black all over But this is going to give it like a smoke effect. So I'm going to just roll it around. <laughs> I will be back and show y'all when I'm demolding this because I can't wait to see how it turned out. And then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna show y'all how I do the, the um, decal, Louis Vuitton decal. Okay, now guys, it's time to demold. So, it actually, I thought it was gonna be swirls. It didn't even come out as swirls, but. Ooh, this is pretty. It actually came out nice. Okay. I'm gonna use this purple. I don't really want to use purple, but I'm gonna use purple. Okay, let's see if this is big, small enough for this because I'm not sure. We're going to use this. Take it off. See, I have to take this off and use my glass. So, we're going to take this off.
Okay, guys, so I had to redo the Louis Vuitton sign because I did not like the way that purple one was looking. So, yeah, I redid it. I used silver instead. Okay, and here is this. Now I am going to add more resin inside so I can seal the decal in. Just a little. Okay, guys, and I will be back once this whole thing dry, and then it should be done. So, we'll be back. 